crap are you doing, man? Uh, I'm calling them to try to get them ready for the new home. I don't know. Just, just seeing if they're okay in there. Is that the mating call? <laughs> what? You don't, you don't do one of these? <laughs> Quick update, just wanted to show you how these guys are um, burrowing. Some of them you can tell are like real deep under there. Looking pretty good. This guy has a whole uh, hole. <laughs> so they do like to burrow. They're all making out really well. Alright guys, we're about to leave for Germany in a couple days to go to the Ham Reptile Show. It's called Terroriska or something. Don't put that in your search engine, the FBI will show up. Um, <laughs> but we, need, we made a promise to do videos every Wednesday at 4 o'clock, I think. Yeah, I'm getting a nod. So... We're doing this in advance. We're gonna do a how-to video on making a roach breeding colony set up the way that we do it. I'm sure there's plenty of different ways. But this is what we do. Big Sterilite. I don't even know how many quarts this is. 68 liters. How many quarts is that? Well, it was like six bucks at Walmart. It's so. 18 gallon. The model is 1815. It's a fine year. We need ventilation in the top, so we're gonna be stupid and use this knife because I don't know where my razor blade is. To do this. This should be fine. Nothing can go wrong. Don't try this at home, kids. Now you're supposed to cut away from yourself for mm -hmm. safety. That's a knife. Don't put your fingers in the way. We uh, had it professionally sharpened. So after you get your hole cut, and you go to the emergency room and you come back, flip this guy upside down, and this is regular nylon screen door screen. Kind of try to cut it to size. Try to avoid these ridges because they can be a pain. And we're good. Metal tape. These guys will eat through the plastic tape. Use metal tape. It's important. Okay. <laughs> Taped it up. Perfect job. Look at that. Ooh. Now you have your ventilated top. And sometimes, I mean, realistically, these things don't fly. So with a container this big, 
it's unlikely that they would get out, but they can and they do sometimes. Um, so sometimes we will leave a hole open. Instead of putting the screen on, we'd rather put a screen on just to ensure. Like, you can do whatever you want with your house. <laughs> My wife ain't having it. <laughs> I'm lucky we're leaving out to have these. <laughs> anyway, so we got these from Uline for real cheap. We got a lot of them. A ton of them, like way more than I've ever used. <laughs> but they're really charging a dollar a piece at the reptile show. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you put these in, this is where they live. Kind of stagger them back and forth so they don't re-connect. Now you need a bowl or something for food and water crystals. We have these extra flower pot dishes. These guys have to have water crystals. Make them a big batch. Water crystals. These get at Home Depot, Lowe's. Are really cheap. Eight dollars a bag. The they sell for roach or reptile use are way overpriced. Just make sure it's 100% polycrylamide. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's not good. Dump this into a big, like, a palm full of it into like a gallon of water. And it sit for like half an hour and it's done. Turns into these water crystals. The uh, roaches will eat these, get their hydration, and not drown, which is <laughs> the key. So we usually do something like that every two days, dump it in or so. Ugh. We do splurge on good roach food because we're gut loading our feeder insects for our animals and we want them to get all the vitamins and protein and everything they need not terrible when you think about how much you actually have to feed them um, but we also don't have tons and tons of roaches we do this one colony so it looks like a little powder high protein now these guys to breed these are doobie roaches they like it a little bit warmer some people say to put them on a heat pad, but we just have them in our room. It's a little over 70 degrees, almost 75 degrees in here. And they breed like crazy, uh, more than we really need them to actually. So um, they may produce more or better at a little bit higher temperature, but it's just not necessary for us. If you have a particularly cold place where you're keeping them, you might want to think about it. But we just keep them reptile room temperature and then you just chuck those dubias in there and you're done all right so we're transferring these guys over these guys need a clean um, if you look in there you can see mealworms and mealworm uh, beetles they're like kind of a cleanup crew they'll eat all the any dead uh, roaches and stuff like that and try to keep it a little bit cleaner in there you can also do like super worms uh, the flesh eating beetles I forgot the scientific name of them right now but maybe Ben can put that in the comments Look, or there's two mating right there they're definitely banging the males are the ones with the long wings and the Females are the chubbier looking ones. Male, female. You can tell they're matured when they have this shininess, when they're like this. They're not matured. Juveniles. These are <laughs> obviously breeding size. <laughs> it's really funny. First time I oh. ever saw that actually. Yeah, I've never really caught them. Hey, oh. And you can see these beetles here. 
Good luck catching that. Ugh. Come here. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> you can see these little beetles here. Eh. Can't really. This is the beetle for the mealworms that we have. And they'll just go. Sometimes people have fun like breeding a couple of these and they'll get a couple beetles and they'll have a bunch of meal uh, larvae. But um, these help clean up everything. So we're just emptying them into a fresh container. So you can see all this stuff in there. These guys are going into their new habitat. I wanted to point out these white ones here. These are freshly molted, so when they grow, they shed off their exoskeleton, um, much like snakes and other reptiles. They don't have exoskeletons, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and they come out white, and then over a few days, they start turning this brown color. So no, unfortunately, you don't have albino uh, roaches, but it's cool to see their life cycle. This is the whole deal. Pop the lid on, stick it on a shelf, before you know it, you'll be overrun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys, see ya. Thanks guys for watching our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And maybe hit that like button down below so we can uh, tell that you like these types of videos. Comment and let us know if there's anything that you'd like to see us do. Um, even if it's basic stuff. Thanks and see you guys later. Notification bell! <laughs> Video before we go to Germany and say something funny. <laughs> I'm gonna get all that sausage. You're gonna get all that sausage. You're recording right now? <laughs> Am I recording it now? I don't know. I might be. I don't even know if it points at my head. <laughs> Are you? <laughs>